I'm just gonna throw all this out the window. I'm gonna not do the traditional method. Without a single sign, political ad, or campaign contribution, independent Tiffany Bond knows her run for Congress is a long shot, but her supporters could still decide the outcome of one of the most competitive and expensive races in the nation. Honestly, it's made the cam campaign more fun. Recent polls show the Republican incumbent, Bruce Poliquin, neck and neck with his Democratic challenger, Jared Golden. If neither wins more than 50% of the vote, Maine's new system called ranked choice voting kicks in. Anyone who voted for Bond or independent Will Hoare will have their second choices counted, putting Poliquin or Golden over the edge. My belief is Campaigning in Maine's second district, Golden knows every vote counts. It's a good tight race. It's going to be a, a barn burner. And is highlighting health care. Health care is huge. An issue important to voters in Mexico, Maine. Health care and jobs and of course we have a drug problem here. In an area that leans conservative, the Democrat is getting strong support. Definitely Jared. He's he's doing what he said. Who are you voting for? Pollock. But the Republican has been focusing on tax cuts and job creation. Do you think he'll win re-election? I hope so. I'm uh, torn between the two independents and Golden. In a campaign that's brought in millions of dollars and endless attack ads. Wasteful. Tiffany Bond has refused donations, instead directing contributions to charity and small businesses. Let's make politics as a force for good. Imagine if it wasn't just being used to be mean. In this race, the nice guys might finish last, but their voters could have the final say. Danielle Waugh, New Center, Maine.